Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Hour. We are jumping in again and it is nice to be back after the Christmas holiday. This is my first recording back after the break and I am glad to be back. I think we're going to jump in as a character that isn't too strenuous today. We've got a lot of characters done so far. It's it's nice to see. Um, let's try and do... Could do Mother as the Forgotten. I, I, I kind of do want to do Mother but I don't know who as. Let's see who we've not got Mother as, because I'm, I'm feeling a Mother run here. Kane, obviously I'd rather not play Kane. Eve, oh god, Eve. Why Eve? <laughs> the Keeper, okay, this is obviously a fun one. Let's jump in um, and start it off well. I'm actually really excited to get back to recording. I always like, I get to the point where sometimes I'm like, oh, I could really do with a break off recording. Then I don't record for like two days and I'm like, life feels wrong. <laughs> I record like obviously like once or twice every day, so whenever I don't, it just doesn't feel right. Something something feels like it's missing, so I'm glad to be back. Ooh, that's probably a good one to take. But yeah, very, very glad to be back. And also, um, I am going to be doing some switch-ups and switcheroos for the new year. Uh, basically, over the past, like, I don't know how long, probably like last like two or three months, I've definitely gotten a little lazy with my uh, my YouTube channel. Also, these guys don't drop money because they're fast death animations anymore, which is slightly sad, but I couldn't reach the money anyway, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, over the past few months, I've definitely gotten a little, like, lazier with my content. As in, like, I've only been doing two series at the minute just because it's been a little easier, and... Learn, uh, like, I think I think Isaac's still been going well, but in parts I've been phoning it in a little bit, at least in, in my opinion. Um, and I definitely want to, I definitely want to sort that out and and try and try and give you guys more because I think you guys deserve more. Uh, I I, feel, I still feel like the content that I put out is good, but I feel like I could be doing more for you guys. And so I've got plans in the works for how to do that. Um, I've got a few a few other series that I want to start slash reboot. That was a very bad hit there. Um, yeah, a few of the series that I want to start slash reboot, of course, I want uh, Gungeon to come back. Gungeon's been gone for far too long at this point. Um, oh, wow. Uh, so I, I want to bring Gungeon back, definitely. Um, but I also want to have, like, a rotating slot uh, that, where we play some other games, like we maybe bring back Risk of Rain Returns, Risk of Rain 2, Voidigo, and then potentially slot in other games as well. Like, I think there's a game called something like Void Rains on, Rains on My Heart that people have been telling me about that is pretty goddamn good. Um, so, there's a lot of stuff like that that we, uh, that we ought to try and, try and play. Uh, but then also, I do want to mix up Isaac a little bit, I think. I think, this is a bit risky, and I, I need, I need your guys' opinion on whether it'll work. Obviously, we take the coupon in this situation here. Um, I think that, uh, I want to... I want to split the Isaac series into three separate series that I run concurrently. So, at the minute, obviously, we have this series, and then on occasion, we have the modded character showcase. What I want to change it to is instead, I think, what I want to do is, I want to have this series, the new save file, but uh, um, concurrently, I want a streaking series on a completed save file. I do not like the situation I've put myself in here. You little bastard. You little bastard. Um, I want a streaking save file that we have a 100% save file where we just try and get win streaks because I think some people do enjoy win streaking. And we'll do maybe random character or potentially like, do more Eden. And we'll do some, some random streaking. I think that'll be fun. And then I also want to do a third series where I evolve the character showcase series into a bit more of a fully fledged thing where instead of it just being a single episode show it like a single run showing off the character when there's a new character or with any modded characters that aren't part of the main series we'll do multiple episodes trying to complete all of their completion marks basically we'll try and beat that character so we'll it'll be the same th format thumbnail as the last one yeah i'll take that um with the same format as, as the last one, we're doing Mother, aren't we? Yes, we, we need a key next floor. Um, where we'll do like the paper thumbnail and is like who is, but then we'll we'll try and beat every completion mark with that character um, and see what we can get done. I think that could be quite fun. It, it, it'll give some longevity to some of the uh, some of the Mario characters that people really enjoy. And instead of me just playing it the one time and then not seeing it again for a long time, sort of thing. Um, so that that's kind of my thinking at the moment. 
Um, and I'd, I'd really like some feedback on that. Uh, I, I want to sort of get this started in the new year, so it'd be interesting to get some feedback before then. Um, and yeah, I think I think that mixed with adding in uh, more content in general is just going to be a lot better. Uh, I will, of course, buy cancer, which is insanely good for us here. Um, and then I, I guess I'll do this and see what we get. Bottle of water I might take. Ooh, spin down. Beautiful. Um, snake. Marius, that's pretty good. I think I probably want to go for the bottle of water so I can gulp this, but I'll keep my spin down on for now and not spend my money yet. Ooh, what the hell is this? Ooh, wait. What? I don't, I don't know what that was. Uh, why didn't that guy not drop HP? I get this for the full floor, god damn, my fire rate is insane right now. Mysterious Liquid is a very decent spin down, I've gotta say. I'll see what the shop is holding for us, slash devil deal, but that is a very high contender right now, because I'm very, very into Mysterious Liquid as an item. Right. Dude, with this fire rate right now, this is absurd. Absolutely absurd. I love it. Yeah, so nice to be back on Isaac. Had a really, really good Christmas break. Uh, went back to obviously see family and uh, my girlfriend's parents also came over to my, um, my parents' house for Christmas dinner. Um, I think I'll just be taking that. All the token bags in there. I could spin down into token bag. I think I'd rather just take this right now. Let's check in here. What we got going on? Um, sickle cell. Piercing tears. Tears cause bleeding, which makes enemies leave creep and take damage as they move. Um, and we don't know what the rest of that stuff is. That would that would spin down into mega blast, which I don't have, so it's not going to give me it. I'm going to take this. I think. Okay. This is kind of tricky because I don't really have the money I'd like to do what I want to do here. I think I'm definitely going to take this, because I think piercing is super goddamn useful. Um, so I'm going to buy that. And now I could use my, my coupon in here, but I think I'm going to go get Mysterious Liquid with my coupon instead. I think that's more valuable. But yeah, piercing tier seems good. Ooh, that's a really cool tier there. I like that. Right. We spin this down. We uh, use this. Thank you. I really like Mysterious Liquid. It's even better with piercing. Um, and we, we unfortunately aren't going to get the, um, the the gulp that I wanted, but it's not hugely important. Anyways, let's keep this train of rolling. Of course, we're going down this way this time. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, but yeah, I um, I got myself a, a few a few things from my girlfriend for Christmas, and then my mum always likes to. Now that I'm obviously, ooh, I got a, a big old golden gun there. Now that I'm obviously in my late twenties, which is horrible to say. I think I'm 27. Once you get past, like, 25, like, you just forget. Who cares what age you are? I think I'm, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm 27. I don't really remember. Um, anyways, so, yeah, it's obviously not, like, proper, proper gifts. So there'll, there'll be some sometimes, but um, mainly she just gets me, like, little trinket things and, and funny little gag gifts and stuff, and I always appreciate that. Um, but my girlfriend got me um, some overproof rum that I've been really wanting, which is, oh, 65% rum that is just the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. It's so nice. God damn, this is... This is strong. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very good. We've not got money to open that yet, so there's not much point opening it. Um... It's really hard to get some of this money here. Um... Right. Chuck that there. And that there. Good, good. God, I'm so many trinkets. Um, and then she got me a whetstone, which I've been wanting for a long time for my uh, for my knife. Um, I've been needing to sharpen my knives for a while, and yeah, finally got a, a very good whetstone. So I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to using that soon. Um, and I, I got her a record player and a few records because she's been getting into those recently. All right, what we got going on in here? Lots of stuff. Um, lots of stuff. I mean, holy water's the obvious choice right now. I want more money. I'm sorry, donation machine. I'll fill you back up one day, but today is not said day. So we definitely want to take holy water here. Holy water's just... It's simply too good. Oh my lord. 
Oh, god damn it. Hit twice there. Get out of here. Yeah, and also, um, I don't know how many people would have seen it, because it's pretty old, and it's, it's very UK sort of centric, but there's a, a comedian in the UK, and he, he's acted in a few things. If anyone's seen Parks and Recreation, he was Lord Covington in that. Is it Covington? Is that his name? The one that uh, Andy goes to, to live with in the UK for a while. He's been in a few things, um, and um, do, you know the, do you know the meme that went around for a while? The brand new kitchen gun. He's the kitchen gun guy, um, and we're going to see him. Um, like, it, it, I, I'm pretty excited for that. He's he's pretty funny, but yeah, there's a there's a skit that he used to do um, back in the day. He still does it now, which is why we're going to see him. Called Brian Butterfield, which is it, it's really funny. Go and uh, YouTube it if you haven't seen it before. Um, and he's doing an entire show as that character, so I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for that. Oh, good old Slick Spade. Oh, you bastard of a game. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> Not so bad. Slick Spade would have been better, but... I'll accept that. I'll accept that. I wasn't going to get the money to buy Slick Spade, so... Right, we need to do our mirror room as well here. Let's uh, go and quickly do our boss. Yeah, so much of this. Sacrificial blood. We strong. We very strong. Right, oh, we don't have two bombs right now either. I used my bombs on a lot of stupid shit. Right, anyways, where on earth, where on earth is our white fire? There it is. I see you, white fire. I see you. I caught a glimpse. And we've not got far to go. Honestly, I'm going to do my boss again as well because that was a super easy boss. Um, Just be careful on collecting money here. Obviously, that could... Go awry pretty quickly. Could all go awry very quickly. But I think we've got an incredibly good setup right now. This milkshake item is very, very nice as well. Good, good. Getting a bunch of money out of this. I would have been able to buy Slick Spade now, but eh. I, I don't know if the wafer actually does anything for us, but I guess it's nice to have. Try and stay safe here. Yeah, some, some enemies with the instant death animation no longer drop coins, which is a little sad. But the instant death animation mod is just too good to not, like, use. I'm never going to not use it. It's just, it's simply too good, as I said. I don't like this situation. That's far too much shit to have to deal with. I don't even know what that chest dropped. I didn't see anything. Yeah, and then my sister, uh, like, made a little Christmas quiz and a few other games for us to play at Christmas. It was it was really nice. Had a very, very good time. Lovely. I will take this. Oh my god, tears ups. That is... stupendously good. Right. Let's get the heck gone. Very, very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Back to our mirror room. Glad I went and redid this floor. We've got a lot of money. We can actually buy some extra stuff from the shop now if we wanted to. Right. Satanic Bible is actually kind of a good choice because we'd get Devil Deal items, but obviously Coupon just saves us so much money um, if we can't afford things. I'll go check the shop once again just in case there's anything else in there we want to buy. With 52 cent, we can buy pretty much anything that offers us. I, I still can't believe Cancer gives you a plus one tiers up even as a... Character with baked in quad shot. That's just <laughs> it's just nutty. Um, there's a mystery item here. I guess we'll take toy drum. Toy drum's pretty decent, and we'll get the heck out of here. Oh, we unfortunately didn't get a second bomb though. Dan Tutin. I didn't realize. Oh no, there's a bomb there. That's okay. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. But yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm always iffy on Christmas. I mean, I really enjoy, like, Christmas in terms of, like, seeing family and stuff like that. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the cold weather, so that definitely puts a damper on things um, for me. But, I don't know. I also, from from uh, my girlfriend's parents, I got myself a, um, 
I got myself a, like, Snuddy, whatever they're called. I can't remember the name of them now, but one of those big sort of over... Ooh, kidney stone, yes, please. Um, over the top, uh, like... What, what the hell? Like, dressing gown sort of style thing. Very nice. Yeah, kidney stone seems pretty good. Okay, did take a bit of damage there. Let's uh, rectify that as soon as possible. We okay? We all right? Ah, oh, we need to press this, don't we? There you go. Okay. Okay. Kidney stone coming through. Um, is there a reason why I can't get across this gap either? Oh, there you go. I can. I can. I just didn't see that because I'm too stupid to look. Lovely. Oh, that would be quite funky with this, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, both of these are pretty good, so I'm going to take both. Our tiers are in a very good spot. See, it's crazy when I get two of those little tier capsules and it gives me 0.5 tiers up and I get a tier up item and it gives me nowhere near that. The tier up capsules are insane. We have become insane. Right. We've made our way through pretty much all this fall that we need to see now. I've not been finding secret rooms really this run, but I don't think it's super necessary. Unfortunately, I've, my, my curly tears have gone away. I don't know why. I think it's because I've got kidney stone, maybe, or chemical peel. But I no longer have curly tears. I, I like the visual of those. They were, they were pretty nice. I like it when you play this character and you still get, like, a bunch of room drop money. Like, yeah, that's what I need. Is... Good old bit of bleeding. Good old bit of bleeding. Barely afford anything there. Right, we've got our coupon ready, so... Horror Babylon, I don't know if that even works for us. I guess I'll just see. I don't think it does. No. It doesn't. Oof my goof. Um, range, dad. I don't think any of that matters. Right, let's carry on going down here. Let's carry on going down. Yes, it is. It is nice to be back on Isaac. But yeah, like I said, I really wanna. I really wanna revitalize the channel a little bit. I think. I've been lacking. There's a few other things I want to do as well. I've been sitting on a recording of uh, both of the Portal games. I, 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 me and Nevernamed played uh, Portal 1 and 2 all the way through together uh, like a year ago, and I just never got around to uploading them, so I think I'm going to upload them soon. I also as well, I, I obviously mentioned this a long, long time ago now, um, but uh, I mentioned about starting a Skyrim, a modded Skyrim series. Uh, just as a chill series, not anything serious. Uh, ju just as one that's going to be like a come chill with me while we while we chat and play a bunch of Skyrim sort of thing. Um, I forget what these do. I did, I did get told what they do. I don't bomb it, do I? I guess I'll take pop here. Um, yeah, uh, I was I, I put forward the idea of just a nice little chill Skyrim series, um, and I did actually start recording it, and I got. Probably, probably about, um, I don't know, probably about like 10 or so episodes into recording it. And I was going to wait until I had a good amount of episodes before I started uploading it. Um, didn't have any specific number in mind, but I was going to just wait a little bit. And I just never got around to uploading it. I started playing, I can't remember what, what I started playing, but I started playing some other games. And then I got my new PC, which fucked everything because it completely destroyed my Skyrim modding setup. Um, but there was a lot of things wrong with that modding setup, but... I have since found a really good mod pack that's like an auto installer, so it's all like works together cohesively and stuff. Um, and I've installed that, and it uh, it has like 2,100 mods, and I've been testing it out over the past few days. And I think I don't know where I am right now. Okay, I missed that dime because I was very confused about where I currently was. Um, yeah, and I've been testing that out over the past few days, and I think I think we're just about ready to. Um, to reboot that series and bring, I say reboot it, start that series and actually bring it to the channel. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to actually. I think it's going to be quite fun. as just a chill series. And it's also just 
this this mod pack that I've got, like I say, it's like 2,000 mods. It's basically only playable on 40 series um, graphics cards. So like I've got 4090, so it's only playable on upper end cards. Um, so I'm I'm really like intrigued to to sort of get started on it. Ooh, hello. Tears and bombs will be connected to you by a beam of electricity. Ooh. See that that's tricky. Considering we've got piercing, I'm gonna give that a go. That seems good. Yeah, that seems that seems very good with pop. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Cool. Bit something a bit different, something a bit unique. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been testing that out the past few days and it's going really well. I'm pretty happy with it um, and I'm going to be bringing that to the channel in the new years as well, I think. Yeah, anything that gets between me and these electric, electric bits is getting uh, wrecked. It's same, same, but different. I like it. It's a cool way of doing this. And I think they can bleed as well, the electricity. Obviously, the tears still do damage too, so... It's not stopping us from uh, doing any of that. But yeah, 2,000 mods is uh, pretty insane. My, my last mod pack only had about 400 mods, so it's it's way beyond. I mean, th th to be fair, there's probably, there's probably quite a few mods in the pack that, like, I'll never interact with. Um... But it's just nice to have them, isn't it? Is this the one that... I swear this is the one that hurts me, so I'm probably not going to take that. I'll take that, bad boy. One hit on that. We've got to go find a penny somewhere. No penny. Gotta go do this empty room. Should have left more rooms empty, considering. Oh, get this out the way, for fuck's sake. Why'd I drop it there? Hello, pennies. You're exactly what I needed. I might have to come back and get another one. Nah, I'll risk it. I'll be down to the next floor on one heart, but I'll risk it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I'm gonna say I think I think just like basically over the past few months, but also over um, over Christmas, I had a lot a lot of think about my content. Obviously, at the minute views aren't the best, but that's mainly because of the time of the year. So it's not really got too much to do with that. I think it's more about just just wanting to wanting to put out like better content. It's, it's more more about just like wanting to put out more high quality stuff. I think Isaac is still a good series, and I, I I stand by the content that I make in terms of, like, Nuclear Throne stuff, but I want to be able to have more variety, be able to bring new people into the channel, but also give people what they want. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there that really want Gungeon back. Um, we were getting, like, 600, 700 views an episode on that, and obviously I stopped doing that, so people clearly want Gungeon back. Um, and like I said, there's plenty of other games out there that, we, that we're kind of not really trying at the moment that I really should be giving... A, like a better chance to, to thrive on the channel and, and garner an audience. So that's that's my thinking at the moment. You guys, let me know. Also, uh, yeah, I really want some feedback on what you guys think about the the multiple Isaac series idea because I think that's interesting. I think that could be kind of cool. Having uh, three separate Isaac series and then we can just rotate them. We can carry on with the new save file. Continue on with that. And we have one where you have everything unlocked, including all modded content for any of the characters we have or anything like that. Um, and we just go for streaks. We just try and uh, try and get as many streaks as we can doing, like, random characters or something. Or, like I said, Eden. And then we have another one where we find new characters or characters we haven't played much of before on the series. And we try and complete all their completion marks uh, over the course of a few days or weeks or whatever. I think it could be pretty cute. Cool. Yeah, this is a really fun synergy you've got going on right now. It's a, it's a tad bit laggy, but it's pretty fun. I think if it, if I didn't have piercing, this would not be anywhere near as good. Piercing is making this as good as it is. Golden penny across the gap. It's a little annoying. Not that we need it though. Good old two shops in a row. 
that gave us no items to purchase. I hate you, shop. I hate you. Oh, I could have got that golden penny. I thought it was over a gap. It was not. Little annoying that I've uh, got two bad shops in a row here. At least my bad shops are out of the way with now. At this point, I'm not worrying about money. We've, we've got the money we need. We've not seen our item room yet. Let's go back and quickly check up on that. Yeah, because I think when I did my streaking, my like 34 streak or whatever it was um, last time, people seemed to quite enjoy the streak. But there was also some people that really didn't enjoy the streak so much because I play so much more cautiously. So I think it's best of both worlds to have a series that's more relaxed like this and then a series where they're trying to go for wins. Because I think that the, my, my, my thinking is... My thinking is with this idea, is that... Ooh, well, let's have a look at what we've got going on here. Um, tears accelerate. Um, I don't think we want that, actually. Let's just take whatever that is. Belly button, more trinket space. Um, my thinking with it is, most people, if not... Like, 90% of people will just watch all three series. Will just enjoy all the content as it is. The people that are watching now will probably... Most of the people watching now will just watch all of it. That's fine. Then there'll be a small section of people that only watch the um, the character showcase and watch the uh, this series. There'll be a small play percent of people that only watch the char character showcase and the streaking. And I think that's that's a good way to do it. Because then it means that everyone's got more types of content and then some people have the specific content they're looking for. That's my thinking, at least. Good old rainbow pennies. Right. Down we go. Down we go. We'll stars card straight away. I think that was a spin down there. Bombs spawn three random locusts when they explode. Enemies have a look better chance to spawn a random locust on death. Our luck isn't great right now, but I'll take it. Oh, you fucker. That item would have been so much better. I might die here. That was that was rather close. There was a lot going on there that I couldn't quite comprehend. Yeah, there's a locust. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give a locust after midnight. Oh, for God's sake, game. Good old spin down shard. One of the best th additions to the game. Love it. Again, we don't really need the money right now, so I'm just blasting through. Oh, dude, I keep doing that. Give me that shop. Give me that shibbity shop. Yeah, also, I really want to try and break 50 on a streak as well. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Just try and... Streak. Obviously, there'd be some restrictions if we were streaking. We did probably do random character, but with a few characters restricted. Or we'd do, um... Hey, we got a pot of gold in this room. Um, or we'd do, uh... <clears throat> like, Eden streaks, stuff like that. The, the, my only hang-up about Eden as a, as a streaking thing... Um... Yeah, I'll take that. My only hang-up about Eden as streaking is that it, um... It makes thumbnails a little more difficult. <laughs> That's my only hanger. Right, here's our boss. Oh wait, where's our spin down? I lost our spin down at some point. It's in the shop. Do not forget that. It's not in the shop, it's all the way back here. God damn. Sacrificial blood? You're stealing my spin down from me. And I do not appreciate it. How'd you end up all the way over there, spin down? Nah, neither of them need spin downing. Right. Really? That is mighty unfortunate because I can't get a penny back now. Actually, technically I can. Uh, wait, no, can I? I've got to be very specific about where I place this bomb. Right here, I think. Yeah, baby. I did it. 
Oh, I didn't get my kidney stone timing right there. Right. Give knife. By the way, I, I know there's a mod that I need to get to fix this. Basically, someone said that the mod that I have that speeds up death animations is the reason knife piece 2 isn't spawning, which is makes a lot of sense, to be honest. Quickly check in here for anything uber good. Unfortunately, nothing uber good. Beautiful damage. Right, and away we go. Away we go. Yeah, so normally my knife piece 2 spawns on her death because the death animation is like sped up so much, it unfortunately no longer drops. So I need to get a different mod that does it, which apparently there is multiple of, so I should be okay. A stranger will hurt. Do not hurt me, please. But yeah, still, the, the, the sped up death animations is something I could I could literally never get rid of. It's quali quality of life wise, it's a mod I've been wanting for so long. Like so so long. It's it's so goddamn good. Look at off. I really, really, like, I, I wish the lower the damage the sacrificial, bl sacrificial blood gives you, just make it so that it gives you the damage on walking into it rather than it being a consumable. So many of them drop that it doesn't make any sense for them to be, uh, to be an, like, pick up and use thing. Because they're just, they're not useless, but they're so inconvenient to use. Just lower the amount of damage they give and make it so that they give their damage a little easier. Right. Get out of here. Imagine if we'd have taken Maria's on the other spin down dice we got and got that crazy knockback. With the piercing and stuff, this would have been wacky. I wonder if the electricity would have like done a mad amount of knockback as well. I bet it would have done. Oh, wait. We went all of the wrong ways there. Gotta love that. Yeah, sacrificial blood's just too easy to get with bleeding. It does need to be tweaked a little bit to not drop so often as well. It just drops way too often. It's very overpowered. If you actually spend the time to sit there and use them all, it's very overpowered. I just choose not to because for one, it's it's a lot of time commitment, but also I do think it is a little cheesy. I don't think it's not intended, but it clearly isn't intended to be as strong as it is. The way I'd for it, is it? Whoa, what the hell? One of the other items we've got from uh, from our modeling clear by the looks of things. Oh, I picked up sacrificial blood again. Bugger off. I still might want my spin down for a devil deal or something this floor. Right, we're nearly there. Really liking the build we've got going on right now. Especially considering like the fire rate. It wouldn't be anywhere near as good if we didn't have this crazy, crazy fire rate. Especially once we use Kidney Stone, then the fire it really is crazy. What's going on in here? Um, unfortunately, spin down wise, we've not got anything great in here. I think I'm going to take this and then we'll spin down this and see what we get. Spin down. Really? Really? Um, quickly check out our arcade over here. Damn it, I was hoping for claw games, but. No such luck. Right, down we go. I think Mother is relatively, relatively destroyed. I don't think she's going to have a good time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we want to press this and press up. There you go. We're firing up. We get the bonus stats, which we will always be firing up against Mother. So the tiles are very, very good. I don't use them often enough when I see them. I just love the lingering of all the electricity. If we had Spectral, this would be insane. I think that, that item before that gave us the Accelerating Tears would have given us Spectral, but the Accelerating Tears plus Pop, I thought maybe it just accelerated them into walls and destroyed them. I didn't I didn't know really what it meant by accelerating. I can't I can't remember how exactly that item functions in terms of the acceleration. Oh come on, I wanted that. 
Ain't no way I'm risking my life for a item I might not even want. Alright, good, good, we made it through. Oh, really? Really? Okay, thank god, I managed to heal the forehand. Right, we do have to be careful here, because we don't have any way of getting pennies back, really. Um, so we do have to be very careful. Okay, the electricity is building, so... That's all the sacrificial blood up there. I don't really know why that happened, but... Thank you. Careful of this attack, because this one can get you pretty easily. Okay, there you go. Nice and easy. That electricity is absolutely bonkers with pop. Amazing stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A nice return to form. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.